five songs. It's about like kind of try to write about where kind of I grew up in the States and, yeah. and the personal things that I've experienced growing up in kind of a smaller town. And um, yeah, I've always really liked folk music and was inspired by like Mumford and Sons and the Lumineers. And I've always just really appreciated uh, guitars and, and mandolins and, and simple uh, narrative based songs. Yeah. Yeah. And that was really important to me was just like, I, I've always grown up like I got a guitar when I was about 12 and just really connected to just instruments and guitars and pianos and and I really like when you know the, the music and the instruments can kind of come through on that side yeah <laughs> so it's very very unexpected I I recorded these songs I just re recorded these three songs in New York and didn't really know what to do with them so I, I kind of just like came home and I was like oh I guess I can start like posting them to TikTok I didn't even have a TikTok at the time I had to download it um, and I didn't know much about it and I just started posting away and and hoping that like you know getting hope to get some good feedback on it hope to get people like start to pay attention to the songs and I posted about 10, eight or 10, and then I finally, I made one, and it was just a simple like three picture TikTok. It wasn't very, anything very creative. There was no dance. Yeah, 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 <laughs> there was no dancing or anything. It was just a couple, it was just a picture with the lyrics on it. And um, I, I was about to go to bed and I, I texted my manager and I was like, oh, this is weird. Like this is the first TikTok that's ever like gotten any plays. I had a few thousand plays and like people were commenting on it. And I was like, oh, that's so cool. And I texted him, I was like, it'd be really crazy. Or he texted me, he's like, it'd be really crazy if we woke up tomorrow and it had like 10,000 plays. And I went to bed and woke up the next day and it had like almost a million. And so just in that, you know, I was probably only asleep for seven hours or something. But just in that period, it just kind of took off. and. Ever since then, yeah, the song has opened a lot of doors for me, and it's a, uh, yeah, social media is a weird thing, but but I am uh, I am grateful for for the opportunities that it has given me. Yeah, I think I think it's a really, I think there's it, like in all social media, I think there should be like a balance. I think like it's a really awesome way to for someone like me who didn't have like I'm from a you know a smaller part of the country. I'm not from LA or New York or anything, so I. I needed a platform to try to get my music out there and it just happened to work and the audience that you can reach on TikTok I mean you can there's so many people on the app and you can you can get you know your music and your videos in front of millions of people which is really really cool but on the other hand you know now there's like a pressure to you know people want you to post more and like they want all this behind the scenes look at your life and I think that that's when you kind of see like the negative side of social media where it becomes yeah. kind of too like a too big a part of your life and you start to like worry about like the comments and and yeah. having like the post a schedule and everything so I'm trying to do a nice balance to for my mental health <laughs> I think the biggest surprise for me was just like because I I had been in bands before yeah, yeah. and and um, you know I I played a lot of shows for very small crowds and so just to see the music connect with people is really yeah. it's just like something I I don't think I'll ever get used to or take for granted like I played a show in London um, a few like a month ago and it just was it was really really wild I was so far away from home I had never been there before and like people were singing along to the songs and so it's just like this full circle moment of like I never thought this would ever be possible let alone in a different country and so it was just a yeah a lot to be thankful for in this past couple months yeah I I mean honestly I do a little bit like I I because you know I'd, I'd always been in a situation where I had a bunch of songs I wanted to record but like didn't really have like the money or the time to, to actually record them and now that I'm like working towards an album I'm like writing songs yeah. for the album so I feel a little bit of pressure to be like oh I hope I like I gotta keep writing songs I gotta keep uh, you know writing good ones I don't I don't want to ever put anything out that I feel like isn't my best work or that my heart isn't behind but yeah there definitely is a little bit of, of pressure and and just wanting to you know wanting to continue to to, you know write songs that people enjoy and connect to yeah yeah so playing it live was was really interesting because you know like I wrote most of these songs yeah. just in my bedroom essentially with a guitar and so it's been really fun to like play with a band I, I have like four guys that I play with now 
and so and they're all amazing musicians and really really great people um, but I'm um, it, it is it is kind of fun to hear the songs kind of come to life a little more and for more instruments to be involved and just like the energy of a live show is something that you really can't ever like replicate even in practice and and each one's different like you know the the London show was just like so exciting and then like each and we played back in the states just about a week ago and like we played out west in Colorado and it was it was like another just it, really really fun but all all shows seem to have like a different energy to yeah. them i think it it i feel much more comfortable mm. with like who i am as a person i think that a lot of it was just like getting older and 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 getting more experience the music industry is a can be hard like it's it's a lot of traveling a lot of a lot of like being told no it's a lot of like not a lot of like positive things i experienced at the very beginning but i think I finally came to the conclusion that like I just wanted to do what I wanted to do. Like I really, I'd always loved folk music and wanted to just kind of write about what I wanted to write about. And so I think that was a big step for me was finally admitting to myself like this is exactly what I want to do and I'm going to kind of like go down this narrow road. Sure, it's it. And I think that's why I've been enjoying it so much more is because these songs feel like a part of me and like when I'm on stage it feels like these, this is exactly what I want to be saying.